May has given us a perfect day to bike to work. Even if you're like me and you had to bike uphill away from City Hall to get here, it's totally worth it. Thank you for coming out today to my first bike to work with the mayor day as the mayor, uh, three years in, and finally we get to hang out together in a beautiful place that we've just acquired in the last two years and celebrate the bike accessibility of Salt Lake City, the beautiful place that we live in, and really how on a day-to-day -day basis Salt Lake City is working to expand the safety and the ease of access to alternative modes of transportation, today most notably getting on two wheels and pedaling. And in the last two years since I've been the mayor, we've been able to add more than 10 miles of bike lanes in Salt Lake City. And with our partners at UDOT, we've um, actually really worked with them to improve the freeway crossings at 6 North and just up the street at 17th East on I-80, and hopefully more of those to come. John's going to give you a little bit more detail about not just the breadth, but the depth of investment to improve the quality of bike lanes in Salt Lake City. But later today, we're also going to the groundbreaking of the Folsom Trail. And um, my husband was remarking to me this morning how um, a lot of mayors wait till their second term for a big legacy type investment, but Salt Lake City was ready for a big investment in our parks and trails right now. And we're not waiting. So we've asked the council to approve an $80 million parks and recreation trails bond to go on the ballot this November and let our voters decide in that $80 million investment that would cost the, uh, the average priced household in Salt Lake City less than $5 a month for an $80 million investment, connecting our neighborhoods in a bigger way to the trails that exist, but also the access to high quality parks and even a new regional park over there at the former Raging Water site, the Glendale Regional, regional Park, that will happen one way or another. So thank you for joining me today. We're going to take a nice and easy bike ride. So all of you um, lucky folks on e-bikes, you could just cruise ahead. That's OK. But we're going to take a beautiful route to City Hall, uh, load up on your muffin carbs and coffee. And thank you for joining me today. John Larson, the Director of Transportation for Salt Lake City, let's give him a round of applause. Fantastic. <laughs> Even the birds get excited about bike to work day. This is awesome. Um, so this is like this is as good as it gets. It's a gorgeous morning. We're biking into work. I've got a captive audience, and I get to talk about bikes. So um, for me, the best part of I don't know if I should admit this. The best part of the things opening back up and being able to go back into the office is I get a bike to work again. Um, you know, I, during lockdown days, I would just sit at home miserable, wishing that I could bike to work. And sometimes I would just bike down to the office and back just because I needed it. Um, so not only is it healthy and enjoyable and way better than um, right, driving a, a car, um, it's also a great way, I feel, for me to stay grounded in the work we do and actually experience up front or, you know, in, in person um, what it's like to bike in Salt Lake City. And also, I don't think there's a better way to experience a city than on a bike. Um, I want to give a shout out today to uh, our friends at Green Bike who've um, helped partner to make this event possible. And um, I'm excited. Uh, they're continuing to expand in Salt Lake City, and they're even expanding up into Ogden this year. Um, so these are really exciting times for Green Bike. And they're also great for the many um, partner organizations and, and advocates and the many people who care so deeply about biking in Salt Lake City um, because it, we're all in this together, and, and, and we appreciate that partnership. Um, and then, of course, uh, as city staff, we can't do anything without... Um, the support and leadership and funding that we get from the mayor and city council. And so, um, you know, huge kudos to them. Uh, when I was 
that's what drew me to Salt Lake City is um, the, the incredible legacy of, of leadership, of really leading the way for the region and for the state on, on these issues of sustainability, equitable, safe transportation. And um, so, so very grateful um, for, for our mayor and council and, and their leadership on these issues. Um, and then, of course, uh, the Salt Lake City Transportation Division is, uh, I think it's, it's the best division in the city. Um, and we have phenomenal staff that put their heart and soul into this work and care so deeply about um, making Salt Lake City a place every year that's a little bit closer to that dream of um, making it safe for people of all ages and all abilities to go anywhere they want in the city. Um, and we're, we're doing this with um, so many projects that are in the pipeline right now um, that, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of, as we've been filling in the network of striped bike lanes, um, we're starting to focus more on the, you know, the high quality, high comfort bike lanes. And so you're seeing that like with the, the Folsom Trail or um, the protected bike lane that just opened up on 9th East um, or on 3rd West or 9th South where we have um, bike lanes that truly are, are, are safe and comfortable for all ages and abilities. And you can feel that when you're biking on a street next to the high traffic versus when you are able to get off onto a trail behind a curb. Um, at least I can, you know, you can just kind of feel your body just kind of relax and, and you can enjoy the experience a lot more. Um, and so be on the lookout for, for a lot more of that, as well as um, we'll continue to be putting in striped bike lanes and neighborhood byways, protected intersections, um, anything we can do to continue to make it safer and more comfortable to bike in Salt Lake City. Um, and lastly, thank you to all of you for coming out to this event. And um, let's enjoy the ride and hopefully make it uh, bike month every month. Thanks. Woo!